As the White House builds its case for a military strike on Syria, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said Sunday the administration has new evidence the Syrian regime used sarin nerve gas on its own people. That in the last 24 hours we have learned uh, through samples that were provided to the United States and hair samples and blood samples have tested positive for signatures of sarin. An odorless, colorless nerve agent, sarin is considered one of the deadliest chemical weapons known to exist. You don't even know that you've been exposed necessarily until you suddenly start to get sick and then it starts pretty quickly and can, and can degrade pretty quickly as well. Kerry had previously said the U.S. knew of a nerve agent used in the August 21st attack, but its intelligence did not specify what type. The president laid out his case Saturday for delaying military intervention in Syria to first seek authorization from Congress when it returns from its recess September 9th. The idea of putting Congress on the record for a vote has drawn mixed reaction from lawmakers, as Peter King explained to Fox News. Hopefully the president can make his case that he will be able to get a majority of the House of Representatives. Right now, it will be very difficult. And also, we have an increasing isolationist wing in our party, which I think is damaging to the party and to the nation. While Kerry said the administration is confident Congress will approve military action, he pointed out the president can take action with or without the OK from lawmakers. Bashar al-Assad, meanwhile, remains defiant. His government has repeatedly denied charges that it was behind the alleged attack, instead blaming rebel groups. The UN, which is conducting its own inspection of the alleged chemical weapons use, has said its analysis could take up to a week. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.